What happened in space made what happened on Earth a lot easier to predict. Developments in technology had begun to revolutionize weather forecasting by 1971 when a young Navy meteorologist joined the staff at WBZ-TV. It was a challenging assignment. Weather has always been big news in New England. WBZ-TV had established a formidable weathercasting tradition. In the 50s and 60s, weather forecasting was still in its primitive stages. Technology was limited and didn't provide much advance warning about potentially dangerous storms. But with the advent of computers and satellites, the picture changed. In the 1970s, WBZ-TV was the first in the Northeast to computerize behind the scenes in TV weather for gathering and displaying behind the scenes the latest weather information and charts. This came in handy in February 1978 when the computer indicated a snowstorm so big that even we could hardly believe what was coming. All the way out here, 10 to 20 inches, uh, easy call, 10 to 20 inches of blowing and drifting being the major problem, even though we do have the major accumulation. We spent, you know, two days out there not knowing at one point in the year whether or not we are going to get out of there alive because the car moved about 15 feet when a wave surge just pushed us right across the road. It was just unbelievable. I mean, I grew up when there it doesn't snow very much in the winter in, in the city. And to see something like that is just incredible. A picture of 128 with cars snowed in and nobody able to move. I mean, I'll never forget those. Those are really etched in my mind. Like we had in the past, we helped New England find shelter, dig out, and clean up. We couldn't do much about improving the weather, but we did improve the way the weather looked on television. When I started here, we had just temper markers, and we would go out in the studio, and we used to have these huge maps, and we just draw on the maps in the studio. Now we do all of our work right here in the office. It's computer graphics, and uh, so you see the maps via chroma key. Uh, in the studio, so in that way it's changed a great deal. So I don't have to go out after each show with a bucket of water <laughs> and, a, and a sponge or a cloth and wash those maps which are like eight feet high and eight feet wide, so I don't have to do that anymore. From the earliest pictures of the Earth shot from space, we became aware of the fragility of our environment. Specialized reporting on the environment began in the 1980s. WBZ-TV reporter Shelby Scott has specialized in the wonder and welfare of nature's creatures since 1965, when her historic interview with a killer whale got her a job at WBZ-TV. There he goes. Boy, you can see how big he is when you're right on top of him here. You're not worried, are you, Shelby? I'm scared to death. I love animals, so I go way back with whales. <laughs> Besides, they smile all the time. They've got to know something people don't. Nature can also be harsh in New England, so we're continually improving and updating our weather forecasting technology. Of course, sometimes the technology gets a little unpredictable. It's going to be very pleasant, and temperatures will be in the range of about, uh, let's take a quick look here at a satellite tape from the first half of today. Well, let's take a quick look here at a radar picture from right now instead of the first half of today. Oh, hey, <laughs> shoot the bird, shoot him. 57 out at Worcester at the high elevation, and generally speaking, well, we'll get up. <laughs> well, we'll get to that in a moment. We have a touchy button here. It's 60, it's 52 way up north. The streams are rising, and we're a little bit of concerned up. I didn't do that, folks. <laughs> we'll see what. <laughs> this will be another tape they'll save for the Christmas party, I'm sure. In 45 years, we've weathered a lot together in New England. What's our forecast for the future? Well, in the year 2000, one thing's sure, we'll be opening that time capsule in the parking lot, whatever the weather. Coming up next, more blasts from the past. The teams that put New England on the map when we come back.